Akhenaten died a failure. His nation bankrupt, his religion despised, his people divided. His successors branded him a heretic and wrote him out of history. And the man most responsible was Ramses the Great. It was Ramses II who, more than any other king, went out and sought deliberately to deface the monuments, to change the nature of the, the uh, religious structure, the structure of the priesthood, and try to steer it back to where it had been prior to the coming of Akhenaten. But could knowledge of this religion have survived? This didn't all die immediately. The impact went right into the theology of Egypt, how they believed about God. Seeking proof that Atenism survived Akhenaten and triggered the Exodus, Feather sets off with Senate to a new discovery. We've got a very interesting relief. It's the tomb of the high priest of the Aten. Located in Saqqara, just outside Cairo, hundreds of miles from Amana, its existence proves Akhenaten's religion was far more widespread than many previously believed and could have inspired Moses to rebel against Ramesses. It's so widespread that it's, it's impossible to imagine that its impact didn't carry on and that Moses was aware of this religion, this monotheistic religion. This cartouche has been... Defaced. Senate wants to explore a possible motive that empowered the rebellious Egyptian prince Moses to rise up against Ramesses and lead an uprising of Hebrew slaves. Moses' belief in one God